Weep Grana Weepin' Nini Bong! And welcome back to my channel, and today I'm coming back at you with stuff and things I've found from the four corners of the Tinterweb. And there's a lot to go through, so let's crack on. First off, we make a stop in at Ramen Toy. Yes, Ramen Toy still carrying on with the 80s commander line, but this time we're seeing the full painted up version here of the evil dude hacker from the Centurions. And this looks incredible. So much detail when you split this dude apart. Really like the blue on there, that kind of sky blue. Looks like he's got a couple of looks as well when it comes to the heed. The heed, you can put a helmet on the heed. And then as well, the head looks like it has a kind of orange looking blast shield as well that goes in there. All in all, this looks like a phenomenal figure and a great addition to this line. Really doing well. If you love your Centurions, check out Ramen Toy because they are making the most superior power extreme centurions available. And now the news, don't touch that dial. Kicking off today with ROS, otherwise known as Ratchet's Operating Studio. I never heard of these people before, um, but they're gonna give your four max a bit of a lift so you can see the before and the after shot these are all of the different little parts that come with it bit of a 80s shoulder pad extension and also some leg extensions as well make him look a bit beefier and also a little bit taller as well so cool it does need a little bit more height probably longer legs maybe and also some some stuff going on in the crotch to make him more tune accurate he looks all right he looks pretty nice doesn't he he looked all right in the first place though so yeah and that's how he looks in his alt mode with the extensions nice nice that they all work in the alt mode as well because you know it's a little bit of a, a nightmare when you have to remove everything just to transform the bugger Saturday we took a look at this kind of super deformed look on the combaticons but when you take a little look closer He's just a load of tanks. He's just a load of tanks. I did say I wanted to check out what all of the little bots look like. They all look very, very similar. Slightly different modes, slightly different tanks. But he is just a load of tanks that combine to make this kind of super deformed thing. Maybe I'll check this dude out depending on the price and maybe I'll do it on the, uh, the KO April Fool's Day thing for next year. Vectron Labs. Just wanted to clarify how big their take is on the first of the Constructor Cons. And we can see here he's just below Megatron at a height of 21.4 centimeters. Nice enough looking height there. Speaking of height, like toys are making a massive Metroplex. And what's pretty cool from the way that this picture looks anyway, is that he's going to be a massive Metroplex that you can kind of maneuver a little looks like his articulation from this is going to be pretty good you're going to be able to pose it well we will see this looks like a rendering to me so we will see although there was a video this week of a massive hinge up next we move to dr Wu. Dr. Wu. Dr. Wu showing off a few more little pictures of their take on Ultra Magnus. A lot of people very excited about this. I am too pretty excited about this to see how they can make this dude look, considering they are super small, usually the Dr. Wu stuff. And staying with Dr. Wu and Mechanic Studios, look like they are going to now focus their attention on RC. Now, this RC is going to be around 10 centimeters tall, so pretty small in its own right. A uh, fairly hefty backpack here, but looks like the transformation works really well, actually. I quite like this. The chest looks a little bit big on it for some reason, just disproportionate, but the alt mode survives it's a little gappy when you look in the middle i guess but overall for a 10 centimeter tall figure i don't think this looks bad at all how it will hold in your hand who knows but it comes with a little little gun as well really nice proportions these are some of the renderings that they had and of course of late wherever you see an rc 
you also tend to find that there's a Nightbird coming as well. This for me looks much better than the RC one, especially in the car mode. I think it's the fact that there's that kind of hot pink seat going on and it's going to come with all of the accessories that you would expect with such a figure. So two versions of this coming out. Don't know which one I'll pick up. Probably the Nightbird. Few prototypes have come out now of Mirage from Magic Square and it looks nice. I mean, I have to see what the finish looks like when the dude is all painted up, but the articulation seems to be there. He sits on his stand rather nicely as well, so cool. Last week we took a look at New Age's take on Grimlock and I said I'll probably wait for them to do the toy version. Oh yes, hell yes, I'm waiting for this toy version, this looks amazing, those legs on the inside still look atrocious, but everything else looks so much better, this is a really really cool looking Grimlock, now I'm thinking, hmm, what else are they gonna do, probably a G2 version, so we'll get a nice blue one, but what could they do to like transform this figure, could they turn it into... A Beast Wars Megatron? Maybe? Perhaps? Who knows? They come up with some interesting stuff, New Age, so let me know down in the comments. What else do you think we'll get with this figure? Moving on to Koto Bakaya collection. I've probably just absolutely butchered that, but they updated their website with some images of these prototypes. So these are the prototypes that we're going to see for their take on an Optimus Prime or Autobot looking one of these girls with guns and stuff and a Megatron Decepticon one. So these are the images that are going to get sent over to Hasbro for them to say yay or for them to say nay. A lot of people excited about this. I don't get it. Cool. Spoke about Flame Toys Leo Convoy last week and showed off everything that we were going to get with the box. And now we're starting to see the figure itself, but also what it's going to look like for you to put this bad boy together. It takes a while. So sometimes they come fully formed when you buy stuff from Flame Toys. This Leo Convoy is one of the sets that you have to put together. I have to say, I've never picked up the fully formed versions of anything from them but i did pick up one of the kits i picked up the nemesis take on optimus prime and i have to say yeah, i wasn't that impressed with how it all held together um and kind of the joints and stuff like that but it is a really really interesting process to put these things together and really see how articulation works so it's interesting it's fun am i going to put myself through it ever again nope and then finally today, Casio, yes, Casio, have showed off some Transformers watches. So are you going to be able to get yourself a Megatron watch or this blue and red kind of classic Optimus watch that has the heat of Prime or Megatron engraved on the back of it for me? I kind of like the Megatron one more. It's got that more classic 80s look to it. I can take or leave the um, Prime one. It looks more like... Does anyone remember Swatch? It was like my first watch things with the clowns with the hands with the red and the white. Does anyone remember those? Reminds me a little bit of them. So I'll, if I get any, it'll be the Megatron one. And there's also kind of this in the background with a Matrix and a Prime and stuff that says coming soon. So... Is there going to be a little kit that comes with it where you can put stuff together? That would be pretty interesting. Uh, let me know your thoughts on these ones down in the comments. I know ages ago they released those transforming ones that actually transformed into something. This is something that's a little different, maybe a little bit um, more dressier, I guess. So that is everything from me on this Transformers Tuesday. As always, let me know your thoughts on everything down in the comments. We are trying to get to 5k on this channel. We will get there very, very soon. Um, well, I think we're about 50 away now. So if you can support the channel, let me know. Once we get there, we will definitely have a live stream. Have a bit of fun, drink some beers, and celebrate our successes. And until then, I'll see you in my next video. All right, team, in a bit. Peace.